Good morning, Washington Elementary Patriots, and welcome to WSIC, Washington's School is Cool News Program. I am Audrey Edwards, your news anchor for today. Today is Wednesday, May 2nd, 2018. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and Moment of Silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Our proud patriot Our proud Patriot of the Day is Abby from Learning Center A. We challenge Abby with the Patriot's promise of teamwork. Teamwork means working together to meet our goal. Every time you see Abby showing teamwork today, let her know, great job Patriot, keep up the excellent work. Don't forget to bring your books back to the library. Look everywhere in your Learning Center, under your bed in your bedroom, and even in your car. On the menu for lunch today, you will have a choice between prize pepperoni pizza, garden chicken salad, grandma's green beans, x-ray vision carrots, leafy green salad, applesauce, and spring fruit cup will also be served. Let's now check in with our other WSIC reporters and see what they have to share with us today. On this day in history, it's unique answer first and question later. Format one fans from the first airing and Jeopardy refuel to dumb down has held viewers in thrall ever since. Was while the basic format had been familiar constant throughout and decides Jeopardy products have made an effort to move with the times, a popular invasion came in 2001, and the introduction of the Clue Crew and Tro of personnel and attractive trivia hunters who travel the globe to deliver video clips meant to bring Clue's answers literally to life. I'm Madison for Today in History. Now back to the studio. <music> Good morning, I'm Marcy Mims, the Senior Science Investigator of the Week. Today, our science segment focuses on physical science. The science question for the day asks, how does sunlight warm the Earth? Rocks warm the Earth. Rocks warm the Earth. Rocks and other items help warm the Earth. How do rocks warm the Earth? There are eight steps. One, the sun gives off short wave radiation. Two, some radiation is scattered into space. Three, some solar radiation is reflected from the atmosphere. Four, some solar radiation is absorbed into the Earth's surface. Five, long wave thermal is reflected back into space. Six, greenhouse gases are released into the atmosphere. Seven, thermal radiation is reflected back to Earth by greenhouse gases. Eight, the Earth's temperature rises as the soil and rocks beneath warm up. Rocks do, rocks do a part in help warming the Earth. Many other items also have their own part. For today's science segment, I'm Marcy Mims. Now back to the studio. Welcome back, Patriots, to a special history segment about World War II. I'm Benjamin Culp. Today our question is, who was against who in World War II? There were two groups of country that fought against each other. There were the Axis powers that included the countries Germany, Italy, and Japan. The reason they were called the Axis powers is because the allegiance originated in a series of agreements between Germany and Italy. 
followed by the provocation of an axis binding Rome and Berlin, with the two powers claiming that the world would from that time on rotate on the Rome-Berlin axis, then they, there were the Allied powers that included countries Britain, France, Australia, the Soviet Union, China, and America. The Allies formed mostly as a defense against the attacks of the Axis powers. Great Britain, Russia, and the United States were sometimes called the Big Three. When China was included, they were called the Four Policemen. It was the Four who Policemen who founded the United Nations. Thanks for listening in. Now back to the studio. Welcome back to Let's Talk Sports. Today we will be talking about the Masters. The Masters is a golf tournament located in the Augusta National Golf Club, located in Augusta, Georgia. The first Masters was played at the Augusta National Golf Course and was played in 1934. This year's winner was Patrick Reed. Patrick Reed is from San Antonio, Texas, and was born on August 5th, 1990. That makes him 28 years old. The youngest golfer to win the Masters is Jordan Spieth at 21 years old. The winner of this golf tournament receives a green jacket and a trophy. Jack Nicholas has won the most green jackets, winning six of them between the years 1963 and 1986. I'm Abe Hatfield with Let's Talk Sports. Now back to the studio. Our joke for the day is, what did one eye say to the other? Between you and me, something smells. Signing off for the WSIC crew, I'm Audrey Edwards. Tune in next time for your WSIC news. Have a great day.